The Planets by Gail Gibbons. On a clear night, when stars shine brightly, you might see what looks like another star. But each night it changes position in the star patterns. It is a planet. The word planet comes from the Greek word meaning wanderer. All the planets except Earth are named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. Planet. A planet is different from a star. People can see a planet because the sun shines on it. A star shines because it is made up of burning gases that give off light and heat. Our sun is a star. Nearly every star is much bigger than the biggest planet. Sun, star, planet. In early times, people knew of six planets. They were Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Later, three more were discovered. They were called Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Today, there are eight planets in our solar system. In 2006, Pluto was designated a dwarf planet. Planet Earth is where we live. It is one of the planets that circle the sun. Together, they make up the main part of the solar system. The word solar means connected to the sun. Earth, sun. The planets circle around the sun in paths called orbits. The time it takes for a planet to travel around the sun is its year. Each planet's year is different. <clears throat> While a planet is orbiting around the sun, it is moving another way too. It spins or <clears throat> rotates. The time it takes for a planet to rotate is its day. Each planet's day is different. While a planet is rotating, part of it faces the sun. It is daytime there. <clears throat> On the other side, it is nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. People can look up on a clear night and might see Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. A planet looks like a steady point of light. A star twinkles. A telescope is needed to see Uranus, Neptune, and the dwarf planet Pluto because they are very far away from the planet Earth. Telescope. Mercury. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. It is about 36 million miles, 58 million kilometers away from the sun. During the day, it is extremely hot. During the night, it is bitter cold because Mercury doesn't have any atmosphere to keep its heat from escaping. An atmosphere is a layer of air. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It is made up of rock and metal. One year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days. That's how long it takes for Mercury to orbit the sun. Mercury rotates very slowly, so its days are very long. A day on Mercury is 59 Earth days. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is usually the brightest object in our sky other than our sun and moon. At sunrise and sunset, it looks like a big bright star. It is bright because Venus has a cloud cover that reflects the sunlight. These clouds are made up of gases. Venus. Venus is about 67 million miles, 108 million kilometers away from the sun. It is hot there. Venus is almost the same size as planet Earth. 
One year on Venus is about 225 Earth days. A day on Venus is about 243 Earth days long because Venus rotates very slowly. On Venus, a day is longer than a year and a year is shorter than a day. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet known to have just the right environment for plants, animals, and people to live in. Earth is about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers from the sun. Planet Earth has just enough gravity to hold its atmosphere around it. Earth has one moon. Earth orbits the sun in about 365 days to make an Earth year. It rotates every 24 hours to make an Earth day. A moon orbits a planet. It has no light of its own. It reflects sunlight. So the moon goes around Earth and Earth goes around the sun. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. About 142 million miles, 228 million kilometers away. People wonder if there was ever life on Mars. Although the surface of Mars is dry now, it once had rivers and perhaps even an ocean. In 2012, the Mars Science Laboratory's rover Curiosity landed on Mars to examine the planet's surface and climate. Scientists may still find evidence of life forms. The Viking lander. Astronomers believe that Mars looks red because iron on its surface has been rusted by the planet's thin atmosphere. It is very cold and is a little more than half the size of planet Earth. Mars has two small moons. One year on Mars is about two Earth years. A day on Mars is about as long as a day on Earth. Jupiter. <clears throat> Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It is about 484 million miles, 778 million kilometers away. It is huge. It is bigger than all the other planets put together and has very thin rings around it. Jupiter is mostly made up of gases. Some of the gases form a giant red circle called the Great Red Spot. Rings are made up of rock, bits of ice, and dust. At least 62 moons orbit around planet Jupiter. One moon, Ganymede, is the biggest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than planet Mercury. Another moon called Io has many active volcanoes. One Jupiter year is almost 12 Earth years. It has short days, just under 10 Earth hours long. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth farthest planet from the sun, about 886 million miles, 1.4 billion kilometers away. It is the second largest planet Saturn's thousands of rings make it look different from the other planets. The rings are made up of ice and rock. Some pieces are as big as houses. On Saturn, it is extremely cold. Saturn has at least 60 moons. Titan, its largest moon, is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere. It takes almost 30 Earth years for Saturn to orbit the sun. Saturn rotates in about 11 Earth hours. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is about 1.8 billion miles, 2.9 billion kilometers away. It is so far away that from its surface, the sun would look tiny. Uranus has 11 rings. Uranus is the third biggest planet about one third the size of planet Jupiter. At least 27 moons orbit around it. Planets farther from the sun have longer orbits. 
they take more time to travel around the sun. For Uranus to make one orbit takes about 84 Earth years. Uranus rotates in about 17 Earth hours. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth farthest planet from the sun. <clears throat> it is about 2.8 billion miles, 4.5 billion kilometers away. Neptune appears to be blue because of a gas called methane in its atmosphere. It is almost the same size as Uranus. One of Neptune's 13 moons, Triton, is about the same size as planet Earth's moon. The spacecraft Voyager 2 visited Neptune in 1989. One Neptune year is 165 Earth years. Neptune rotates in about 16 Earth hours. Voyager 2. Pluto. After its discovery in 1930, Pluto was known as the ninth planet in our solar system. Now there are eight planets. Because of its size and unusual orbit, it has been classified as a dwarf planet. Sometimes its dwarf, its orbit, carries it closer to the sun than Neptune. At its farthest, Pluto is about 4.6 billion miles or 7.4 billion kilometers from the Earth, oh, from the sun, sorry. Pluto is cold. It is smaller than Earth's moon. It has three known moons. The largest one is called Char Charon. One year on Pluto is about 248 Earth years long. A day on Pluto is about six Earth days long. Pluto, Charon. An astronomer is someone who studies the stars and planets. Here on planet Earth, astronomers search the skies through telescopes. Spacecraft are sent into the solar system and beyond in search of new discoveries. We are always learning about the planets, the stars, and what lies beyond. It is fun to search the night skies for planets and stars from our planet, Earth. More about our planets. <clears throat> Mercury, which is bigger than Earth's moon, has a core of iron. Venus rotates in the opposite direction of other planets. From outer space, Earth often looks blue because of its vast oceans, which cover more than half the planet. Mars has a very large canyon. It is the biggest in the solar system. It is called Valles Marineris and is seven times longer than the Grand Canyon in the United States. Jupiter is huge. If Jupiter were a big empty ball, more than 1,000 Earths would fill it. Saturn. It is very windy on Saturn. Around its middle, winds blow at about 650 miles, 1,000 kilometers per hour. Uranus. When the spacecraft Voyager 2 flew past Uranus in 1986, it had been traveling through space for nine years. Neptune is 30 times Earth's distance from the sun. Some astronomers have said that studying Neptune from Earth is like studying a dime from a mile or 1.6 kilometers away. In 2015, the spacecraft New Horizons was the first to explore the dwarf planet Pluto and its moons.